The reason I really wanted to get trees planted, honestly, is one of the striking things moving into the neighborhood is some of the giant old oak trees. It's one of the most attractive parts of the neighborhood. I think there's very much an educational component to planting trees and impacting or improving the nature sort of in the neighborhood. Start at the community garden level, and that's really how we met, right? We just sort of raised the conversation up to the tree level. The goal is really to make a big impact and plant a lot of trees, and I think to do that, we have to start, uh, just get the event on the calendar, plant some trees, and generate interest, and then say, hey, who wants to do it in the spring? Who wants to do it next, next winter? And that's a way we can really get the ball rolling to plant a lot of trees and really change uh, the urban canopy in TP Park neighborhood. I think by planting trees, when you begin this sort of tree planting event, it starts to encourage people to sort of dialogue and come out and sort of have conversations about what is it, why are you doing it, what are the benefits of doing this. There's been studies done about people recovering faster because of they spent time in nature. Lower sort of stress and anxiety. We get 10 trees in the ground and they survive uh, for a couple years. When it comes up again next year in the spring, people are like, yep, I'm going to that. I'm marking it down on my calendar. We can make decisions today for the next generation, right? So we're getting the benefits of trees that were planted 100 years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago. But if we can continue to maintain those, get the ones that are sort of reached their maturity out and replant trees, then our, the next generation will benefit. Trees now become a lens through which we could talk about a whole bunch of different things and also connect neighbors, connect residents, connect our community.